The Mariposa family went on a hike in Northern California that ended tragically when they mysteriously disappeared during their trip. Ellen Chung and Jonathan Garish were a happy and married couple. They loved hiking with their eight-year-old dog Oski and Aussie Akita Mix. Almost every weekend they went out for a walk. In August 2020, they became parents to a beautiful daughter, Aurelia Miju. Jonathan Garish worked as a software engineer in Silicon. For the most part, he worked from home because of the pandemic. This was a reason for the family to move. They preferred to raise their daughter outside the city, so they decided to move from San Francisco to Mariposa, California. On Saturday evening, August 14, 2021, Jonathan used an app on his phone to plan the route for the Heights Cove hike. He entered only waypoints or directions, without calculating the exact distance in miles or elevation gain. This was common for Jonathan, as he used multiple apps to map routes and went hiking regularly. On Sunday, August 15, 2021, Ellen, Jonathan, their one-year-old daughter Miju, and their dog Oski went hiking in a remote area of the Sierra National Forest. Sierra National Forest is located in the southern Sierra Nevada Mountains and covers an area of about 1.3 million acres. The forest is located primarily in Fresno County, but also extends into Madera and Mariposa counties. The Sierra National Forest consists of an exciting combination of outdoor recreation, beautiful scenery, and numerous natural springs, making it a popular destination for nature lovers and outdoor enthusiasts. On Sunday morning, August 15th, around 7.45 a.m., a witness saw the family's gray Ford F-150 Raptor driving on Heights Cove Road. They parked at the beginning of the hiking trail. The temperature was about 74 to 76 degrees Fahrenheit, and they were at an elevation of about 3,880 feet. They started a 2.2-mile hike along the Heights Cove Road Trail to U.S. Forest Service Trail 20E01.4. The elevation at this crossing is about 1,930 feet, and the temperature was between 92 to 99 degrees Fahrenheit. They then continued along the 20E01.4 trail, which runs about 1.9 miles along the South Fork of the Merced River, to its junction with the Savage Lundy Trail. The elevation here is about 1,800 feet. By now, the temperature had risen to about 99 to 103 degrees Fahrenheit. From this point, they began the steep slope of the Savage Lundy Trail. This section of the trail slopes to the south-southeast, leaving it constantly exposed to sunlight. By now, the temperature had risen to 109 degrees Fahrenheit. According to the researchers, ground temperatures would likely have been higher due to a lack of shade from trees. In fact, the trees in this area had been burned during the Ferguson fire in 2018. The family hiked about two miles on the Savage Lundy Trail. This significant rise in temperature and the family's location on the trail provided challenging conditions. According to several sources, the family shared a video to their family babysitter and nanny later that evening. The video showed that Miju had started walking. When the babysitter arrived at the family house for her normal shift around 11 a.m. on Monday, August 16th, she discovered that no one was in the house. The woman called some relatives and friends, hoping to hear from them. After all, Jonathan and Ellen had not shown up at work. During the day, she kept calling and searching. Unfortunately, after unsuccessful attempts, she decided to inform the authorities. The family was reported missing at 11 p.m. that day. This was about 12 hours later after the babysitter discovered the abandoned house. Deputies immediately began their investigation. On Tuesday, August 17, 2021 at 1.50 a.m., a car was found by a sheriff's deputy. It was the family's gray car, parked at the beginning of the hiking trail. The Mariposa County Sheriff's deputy called for a search and rescue. At 4 a.m., search and rescue teams arrived to find human and animal tracks. They began trace searches on the Hite Cove Road Trail, at 8.40 a.m., more search teams arrived on the Savage Lundy Trail. In addition, the California Highway Patrol was also contacted, and their H-40 helicopter was requested to assist in the search. On Tuesday, August 17th, around 9.30 a.m., the lifeless bodies of Jonathan, Ellen, Miju, and Oski were found. They were found in a very remote area, the Devil's Gulch area on the South Fork of the Merced River. This was about 1.6 miles away from their car. According to various sources, only an empty 85-ounce bottle of water was reportedly found with the family. Furthermore, no other water containers or water filtration systems were discovered at the location. Because they were in a very remote area, they had no phone coverage. On the bodies, there were no obvious signs of trauma, no signs of violence, no traces of a fall to be seen. Moreover, the family was discovered on the trail and not in a tent. According to Sheriff's Deputy Christy Mitchell, 
We're processing the scene right now. There's no clear indication of cause of death. To ensure the safety of the search teams and employees, and to keep the location of the incident intact as much as possible, investigators requested a helicopter flight. The site was treated as a hazmat scene. Coming across a scene where everyone involved, including the family dog that is deceased, that is not a typical thing that we have ever seen or other agencies have seen. This is why we're treating it as a hazmat situation. We just don't know, said Christy Mitchell. The Mariposa County Sheriff's Office received an overwhelming number of tips, suggestions, and investigative requests. All of these were thoroughly reviewed. On Sunday, August 29, 2021, the Sierra National Forest closed the Merced River Recreation Site and its roads and trails to the public. An investigation was launched into the case of this tragic event. The closure of the forest would last until at least the end of September. Search and rescue teams knew this hiking trail was known to be a dangerous location. Investigators initially feared the family had inhaled toxic fumes, possibly from an abandoned mine nearby, but the nearest mine was more than two miles away. California State Highway Patrol personnel and an H-40 helicopter searched the area and found no evidence that the family had found or entered the mine. Authorities also knew that toxic algae had been observed on this route. Investigators looked into whether toxic algae blooms or other hazards had contributed to the family's deaths. Several water tests were also conducted. Six different laboratories cooperated in testing the water samples. Test results from the water taken at various locations along the South Fork of the Merced River were positive for anatoxin A. Anatoxin A is a type of cyanotoxin, which is produced by certain species of cyanobacteria. Cyanobacteria can form blooms in bodies of water, particularly during warm weather conditions. These blooms can produce toxins that pose a risk to human and animal health. No evidence could be found that Jonathan, Ellen, or Miju had consumed this toxic water. We are uncertain of the causes of death. We still haven't gotten the results from the case, said Leek Penn, Assistant Recreation Officer at the Bass Lake Ranger District, which oversees that portion of the Sierra National Forest. So as a precaution, let's go ahead and close it because we know there's some form of hazard to the public. According to investigative reports, the family and their dog showed no physical injuries or signs of trauma on their bodies. Because of this, the Mariposa County Sheriff's Office initially ruled out exposure to chemicals and the use of a gun or other deadly weapon as a possible cause of death. Initially, yes, when we came across the family with no apparent cause of death, there's no smoking gun, there's no suicide note, there's nothing like that. We have to consider all options. Now that we're five days in, no, we're no longer considering homicide as a cause of death, said Christy Mitchell, Mariposa County Sheriff's spokeswoman. January 22, 2021 was an important day. A press conference was organized by the Mariposa County Sheriff's Office in which the cause of death of the Chung Garish family was announced. The official cause of death was officially determined on Friday, October 15th. Based on the autopsy, the large amount of toxicology results and examination, the pathologist completed the report. The cause of death for Jonathan Garish, Ellen Chung, and Aurelia Miju Chung Garish has been determined to be hyperthermia and probable dehydration due to environmental exposure. Oski, the dog's cause of death, remains undetermined. Based on the condition of Oski's remains and evidence on the scene, investigators believe that Oski was possibly suffering from heat-related issues. Oski was an eight-year-old Aussie Akita mix. There was no cell phone coverage in this remote area. Furthermore, the FBI attempted to access Jonathan's cell phone, which was found in his pocket. On February 17, 2022, the Mariposa County Sheriff's Office posted the following message on Facebook. After multiple months with the FBI computer phone forensics team, the Mariposa County Sheriff's Office has obtained details from Jonathan Garish's phone. Using information from the phone, they were able to reconstruct the path and timeline based on the GPS locations. The data on the phone supported the findings of a heat-related incident. In addition, several photos were found taken during the hike. The first photo was taken at 7.44 a.m., a few meters from the start of the hiking trail. Another photo was taken 15 minutes later from the beginning of the trail. At 9.05 a.m., the family had taken a photo of the Merced River. Another 10 photos were found of the river taken between 9.35 and 10.16. The couple was pictured, and selfie-like family photos were taken. The last photo on the phone was taken at 12.25 p.m. This was a screenshot of the couple's location on All Trails, a hiking trail app. Investigators also discovered that Jonathan tried desperately to ask for help. 
but because of poor phone coverage, the messages never arrived. Can you help us on Savage Lundy Trail heading back to Heights Cove Trail? No water, overheating with baby. The family also tried calling at 12.09 a.m. and then four more consecutive times starting at 12.35 p.m., but unfortunately, none of the calls came through. According to police, the couple had not attempted to call 911. The call attempts were made near where their bodies were found. The cell phone data results were the last thing both the family and detectives were waiting on. The extracted information confirms our initial findings, Sheriff Jeremy Brees of the Mariposa County Sheriff's Office said in the statement. On October 21, 2021, Mariposa County Sheriff's Office shared the final press release on their Facebook page. In addition, the family of Jonathan and Ellen also issued a statement. The loss of a close relative is a pain almost beyond words. When that loss is multiplied by four, and one of that four is a baby of just one years old, the pain is indescribable. When that pain is then further impacted by the lack of knowledge and certainty as to the reasons for their deaths, then the question of why, of where, of when, and of how fill your mind all of the days and all of the nights. They thanked everyone for their dedication and commitment and continued, some questions have been answered and we will use the information as a way of helping us come to terms with the situation. However, the question why can never be answered and will remain with us. Our hearts will never forget the beautiful lives of Jonathan, Ellen, Miju, and of course, Oski. They will remain with us wherever we go and whatever we do. In the future, when we sit beneath the trees listening to the wind sowing through the branches, we will hear them and we will remember. Despite the established cause of death, many questions remain unanswered about the family's disappearance during their hike. The family's tragic loss sparked discussions about preparation, awareness, and the risks of trekking in extreme weather conditions. The accident also highlighted the importance of a good water supply in remote areas. Their disappearance and death remain a mystery, and investigators and the family continue to search for answers. Although the extreme heat and lack of water are known factors, many details about the sequence of events that led to their tragic end remain unclear. Thanks for watching this story. Don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on your notification bell to stay updated on more similar videos. We would love to hear your thoughts, so feel free to share your comments below. Until next time.